Okay, I'm going to go over what just happened for this Thanksgiving. As you all know, those of you who've watched my 41 video, Synchronicity and 41, you'll know that that, that number had something profound to do with last year and with 322 which showed up at the Super Bowl and we had a basically a pictogram premonition of that from the God Zone. Okay now that being said today I was looking at Mike Laverne's uh, video and I noticed he had Pisces Sun so me being a Pisces of 3963 of 1963 I thought I would go ahead and uh, watch it so I watched his video and I noticed another video uh, that was talking about uh, what Pisces had to do I think it was Gene uh, Niley or whatever right there so then I went through a couple other videos and I came across this pieces because I misspelled Pisces <laughs> I misspelled it. I spelled it P-I-E. And so then I came across this Sum 41. So that, that immediately caught my attention. I had never heard of these this band before today. Okay, so I went and I searched them out. I did a Wikipedia. They're a Canadian uh, band. And so naturally, um, I wanted to find out what their, their name was. Uh, meant so I ended up uh, doing I so why did they choose the name some 41 okay and uh, then I went ahead and uh, read that I took a screen capture of it for, because I posted this on the God Zone um, um, they have a song right here when their last look like their their last upload baby you don't want to know very interesting song now back to the origin of their name okay uh, like I say I went ahead and I posted it on the God Zone and why did they choose the name Sum 41? Okay. Originally, a, I don't even know what No FX uh, cover band, I don't even know what that stands for. Um, the group we now know as Sum 41 began their humble beginnings under the name Casper okay so we have ghost okay going on here when the band began to take things seriously however they decided to change the name for a supernova show on September 28th 1996 Okay. which happened to be the 41st day of summer eh, eh, 41 days into summer okay so now here we have a couple more 41's surrounding this and the reason I believe that the 28th date was important because many people think that Jesus was actually born on the 28th or 29th. I'm, I'm aware that Queenie thinks it was the 11th for 9-11, so uh, nevertheless, I'm sure of what I saw, and I know it was in the month of September, so having said that, uh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce a lot of these words, so just so you know the year of Jesus uh, birth is broadly accepted as 4 BC primarily 
from erroneous conclusions derived from Josephus' recording of an eclipse assumed to be on March 13, 4, shortly before Herod died. There are a number of problems with this in addition to the fact that it was more likely the eclipse occurred on December 29, 1 BC. Considerable time elapsed between Jesus' birth and Herod's death since the family fled to Egypt to escape Herod's edict and they didn't return until after Herod's death. Furthermore, Herod died on January 14, 1 BC. Tertullian, um, born about 160 AD, stated that Augustus began to rule 41 years before the birth of Jesus and died 15 years after that event. Augustus died on August 19th. 14 AD, placing Jesus' birth at 2 BC. Tertullian also notes that Jesus was born 28 years after the death of Cleopatra in 30 BC, which is consistent with the date of 2 BC. Irenaeus, born about a century after Jesus, also notes that the Lord was born in the 41st year of the reign of Augustus, okay? Since Augustus began his reign in the autumn of 43 BC, this also appears to substantiate the birth in 2 BC. Uh, Eusebius 264-34 D or 340 AD, the father of church history ascribes it to the 42nd year of the reign of Augustus and the 28th from the subjection of Egypt on the death of Anthony and Cleopatra, the 42nd year of Augustus, ran from autumn of 2 BC to the autumn of 1 BC, the subjugation of Egypt into the Roman Empire occurred in the autumn of 30 BC. The 28th year extended from the autumn of 3 BC to the autumn of 2 BC. The only date that would meet both these uh, constraints would be the autumn of 2 BC. Another approach in determining the date of Jesus birth is from information about John the Baptist Elizabeth John's mother was a cousin of Mary and the wife of the priest of Zacharias who was of the course of Abiah priests were divided into 24 courses each course officiated in the temple for one week from Sabbath to Sabbath when the temple was destroyed by Titus August 570 AD the first course of priests had just taken office since the course of Obiah was the eighth course. We could track backwards and determine that Zacharias would have ended his duties July 13, 3 BC. If the birth of John took place 280 days later, it would have been April 19, 22 BC. Precisely on Passover that year, John began his ministry. In his 15th year of Tiberius Caesar, the minimum age for the ministry was 30. As Augustus died on August 19th, 14 AD, that was the, uh, <clears throat> the accession year for Tiberius. If John was born on April 1922 BC, his 30th birthday would have been April 1920. 29 AD or the 15th year of Tiberius. This seems to confirm 2 BC date and since John was five months older this also confirms the autumn birth date for Jesus. Elizabeth hid herself for five months and then the angel Gabriel announced to Mary both Elizabeth's condition and that Mary also would bear a son who would become who would be called Jesus Mary went with haste to visit Elizabeth who was then in the first week of her sixth month or the fourth week of December 3 BC if Jesus was born 280 days later it would place the date of his birth on September 29 okay so there again 
if Jesus was born on September 29, 2 BC, it is interesting to note that it was also the first of uh, Tishri, the day of the Feast of Trumpets, see our briefing package on the Feast of Israel. So all of that makes perfect sense to me. The 41s hopped out uh, off of this page also for today. Um, and I'm sharing them with you. Okay, yeah. So 41 years before the birth. And he was born in the 41st year of the reign of Augustus. So there we go. Very interesting, is it not? Is it not very interesting? Does that make sense? I'm sure if it doesn't, I'm sure Queenie will have something to say about it. <laughs> okay, so now that's where the date came from. So some of you also know about my homeless experience that Queenie made fun of, saying that a flying saucer led me to the Shepherd's Chapel, which is not true the way Queenie wrote it, just so you know, that's the way Satan twists the Bible as well. Not implying that Queenie's Satan by any means, but it's interesting the tactic that she utilized there to, to discredit me. Um, nevertheless, that event occurred, and I wish I knew the date, I, I, but I know it was in September. There's not a doubt in my mind, because... Uh, that was the month that the event occurred now had do i know what date day it was no i don't but it's it's actually very possible that it was on the 28th or the 29th uh but i can't i can't say that for sure because i didn't uh i didn't uh, mark that date um i was so blown away by what i saw that i mean i, I I was drinking up there anyway, but uh, I, I didn't happen to be drinking that particular day. Um, I did get on the CB radio, so people heard me shouting that there was UFOs over Seattle from probably from Anchorage all the way down to Mexico City. Okay, so there were reports as well, because um, Jenny heard reports the next day that other people from up north had witnessed uh, some sort of an unidentified flying object sighting uh, from north of Seattle. So there was other confirmation outside of my, my own radio broadcast on the Citizens Band. Now, having said that, I find this Psalm 41 to be very interesting, this whole thing that I'm being given here on this Thanksgiving, because... As I've said, I was somewhat concerned about the 322, and I was wondering had I had I was I receiving um, hidden uh, knowledge from the dark side concerning this matter, and uh, somebody could look at this and say, "Well, Mark, it's the dying scene and bad religion, and you know, you can say whatever you wanted to." I would contend that these lyrics are even more interesting in this song than anything as well and that's why I put the ha 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 there so anyway I just wanted to go over this and let you know this weird chain of events that ended up with some 41 uh, being a band that I never even knew about until today so anyway uh, there again I would also mention and make mention of the Pisces sign with the two fishes uh, being connected by a band. So here's the lyrics. Okay. I don't know what you want and I don't want to know. I got you where I want, and I won't let go. So get your kicks out quick while you still got time. That's fine. I know just what you've done. I need no alibis. 
I hope you've had your fun. You sure know how to live. Cause you're just a drag. And you just ran out of time. Well, that's quite alright. Well, well, do what you want. But don't be proud. Cause baby, you don't want to know what I'm going to do when you're not around. No, baby, you don't want to know. I got you right where I want, and I bet you gonna set you off, and I tell you anything you want, but baby, you don't want to know. Baby, you don't want to know. Hey, it beats me black and blue, but I can't resist. I'm dragging myself through this kind of masochist. But I'll be fine like this till the end of time. That's quite all right. Well, do what you want, but don't be proud. Because, baby, you don't want to know what I'm going to do when you're not around. No, baby, you don't want to know. I got you right where I want. And I bet you're going to set you off. And I tell you anything you want. But baby, you don't want to know. 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 It's all right. I don't mind. Because you just might be out of time. <laughs> well, do what you want. But don't be proud, because baby, you don't want to know what I'm going to do when you're not around. No, baby, you don't want to know. I got you right where I want, and I bet you're going to set you off. And I tell you anything you want, but baby, you don't want to know. 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 No, no, baby, you don't want to know. <laughs> yes, indeed. Can I get a wow? That's also very interesting to me. Um, so, nevertheless, there's my little uh, Thanksgiving video for the day. And may you all continue to stay interested and stay watching uh, because I'm sure it's only going to get more exciting. Okay, so love y'all and uh, have a wonderful Thanksgiving.